Hello and welcome back to another computer sluggish tutorial. So today we're going to be going through the installation progress of Windows Server 2016. So once you've put in your disk and you've started up your computer that you're installing Windows Server 2016 onto, you should have a screen that looks like the following. So you now need to select your language. So I'm going to go with English United Kingdom, language is just on English, that's fine, and my keyboard inputs on United Kingdom. I now need to go ahead and press next, and we need to select install now. Okay, for this bit, you now need to go to Windows, or I'm going to go to, sorry, Windows Server 2016 Desktop Experience. So this option is useful when a GUI is required, for example to provide backward compatibility for an application that cannot be run on a server core installation, all server roles and features are supported. For more details, see Windows Server installation options. Or if you were to go for the top option, the standard option, then this option reduces management and servicing by installing only what is needed to run most server roles and applications. It does not include a GUI, but you can fully manage the server locally or remotely with a Windows PowerShell or other tools. Basically, what this means is if you want to be able to access Windows Sub 2016 with a monitor on that actual machine, then you need to go on to your desktop experience. Rather than on the other option, you will need to remote into the server from another computer to take control of that machine. So as I'll be doing tutorials on Windows Server 2016, I'm going to select the desktop experience so you can all see what's going on. So we now need to go next. And we're going to go I accept, next. And I'm now going to go on to a custom install, Windows only. And I now need to go new to create a new partition on the hard drive. And we're going to go OK. And we now need to go next. So it's now going to copy over all the files that are required for the installation of Windows Server 2016. And it's going to prepare and install. So I'm now going to speed up this video. Okay, so once that's all finished installing, you now need to type a password for the built-in administrator account. This does need to be quite a complex password. You can't do something easy and simple like 123 because that's just not complex enough. Plus, anyone could guess 123. So I would highly not recommend trying to do that, but Windows Server 2016 will not let you use something like 123 anyway. I'm going to go ahead now and type in a password and you now need to go finish once you've typed in a password. Okay, you now need to unlock your computer and you need to type in the password that you just used. And once you've done that, it's now going to set up our administrator account on our Windows server. And there we go. That is it. That's how you install Windows Server 2016. It's really straightforward and very easy to do. As you can see, it was, it was just a couple of clicks. So if this tutorial helped and you did enjoy this video, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.